Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a comprehensive review of the Aware Second Edition. This product can monitor your entire home's air quality, temperature, humidity, uh, basically everything about your air in your room. Before I go too heavy on the B-roll, I just wanna kinda show you guys the device itself. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's just sitting. Uh, now it does have a display. You guys can kinda see it if I tilt it a little. There's a LED up here, either green, orange, red, depending on your air quality. And then down here, this is the display that will tell you whatever you wanna read. Here's a little hole where it senses things, so it obviously has to have a hole to get samples of the air. Uh, and then around, obviously, you have this really nice wood finish. Uh, this is kind of a matte white color here. So that's what the front of the device looks like. This is what the back looks like. I am covering up the serial number. It does use USB-C, which is awesome to see here. Uh, so you guys just plug that in like so, and it will power up. Here's the power adapter. Um, they do say to only use this one uh, with it. So obviously just use the one that's in the box. Uh, and here is the back again. These are two little uh, kind of buttons to cycle through things on the front screen. But what really makes this product shine is its application. So I'm gonna jump over uh, to my computer screen and show you guys that application and kind of show you how it's used. And then I'll also throw in some B-roll as well to kind of show you guys what this thing looks like in practice. But without further ado, let's jump over to my computer and I'll show you guys the app. All right, so here we are on my iPhone 10 here. This is the Aware application, which is a free download. So you guys can get this once you get uh, your Aware. Let's go over the interface real quick. So this is the score tab. As you can see uh, at the bottom, there are five different tabs you can choose from. This is the default score tab and you are rated out of 100. So right now I'm at 97 out of 100. If I tap on the score there, uh, it will bring up uh, kind of a description. So zero to 60 is in red, 60 to 80 is orange, and then 80 to 100 is green. So I'm in the green doing very well right now. So uh, you can also click on these down here. So temp, I can click on that and see what a good range is. Humidity, same thing. Uh, CO2, as you can see, I am a little bit in the orange, uh, the light orange that is, uh, because I'm at a little over 600 uh, chemicals. Uh, obviously you wanna stay closest to zero and then same thing with uh, dust. So in the top left, if I hit the little hamburger icon, I can have it find my location to have the weather, uh, but also in the top right, I can choose my account. I can add another one. I can just click on my current one. So in the kind of top right Petri dish looking thing, if I click on that, that will set my preference. So right now I have it set to allergy uh, just because I want it to tell me if there's specific triggers for allergies in my uh, room but you guys can change it and it will change the notifications that you get uh, depending on which one you choose. I'm just gonna hit done there. And then the top right, the settings cog. Uh, so right here, I can click on my aware. I can cho choose the room. I'm gonna cancel out of that right now. Preference, obviously it's still on allergy. This is the same spot that you can choose that setting. Temperature units, depending on where you live, you can change it to Celsius if you'd like, but I've got it on Fahrenheit. Uh, Wi-Fi network, obviously this has to be connected to a Wi-Fi network to work. So just connect it to your home Wi-Fi and you're set. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, this is not uh, specific to just your home. So once you set this thing up, I can check my air quality from, you know, from work. I do that all the time. I'll just hop on my phone, take a peek at what's going on uh, and that works. Now, some products you can't do that. You have to either be at the location, like on the same network, or you have to use Bluetooth. Uh, with this one, you can check it anywhere, which I really like, so that's super cool. Aware display, so I've got it set up to be uh, the aware score for the default display, but obviously you can change this to whatever you want, temperature, humidity, CO2, chemicals, dust, or just the clock. Um, so that's pretty cool that you guys can change that on the fly if you'd like, and also change those on the device itself. Uh, next up, we've got LED brightness. So this is for on the display of the aware uh, itself. You can choose either auto, which as you can see, aware automatically adjusts the display setting based on available light. So it uses an ambient light sensor. Uh, I chose sleep for when I'm in my room or for when it is in my room, that is, uh, because this way it will kind of take all of the uh, advantages of using auto, but also if it, you know, if the light drops to a certain level, like off or very dim, it will dim the display and turn it completely off on the aware device itself, which obviously I like for sleeping. I don't want it to be, you know, shining bright lights at me. And then manual, if you want to choose uh, exactly, uh, you know, fine tune it to exactly how you want. I'm going to keep it on sleep though, because right now it is in my room. Next up, you got sound. So the aware device itself can make sounds. Uh, if, you know, it alerts that the dust is too high, it can send you a push notification and the device can make an alert which is cool as well if you don't have your phone on you. Then you got the clock here. You can choose 12 hour or 24 hour. And then of course you can reset the time zone if it's not looking right. Notifications, I've got them on for all of these sensors, but you guys can choose which ones you care about the most. Uh, mirrored notifications. So right now I've got a mirrored display with sound, uh, but I can just do display only or off. Uh, so that's totally up to you. Do not disturb is on by default from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Pretty much sleeping hours, so it doesn't you know make a bunch of noise. Uh, but that is what the sleep report is for, which is the next one, which I have turned on uh, from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So when you've got that on, I'll show you guys in a minute what that does. 
Then you got the tutorial firmware version down here, which it can update and keep your aware device up to date, which is super cool straight from within the app. Uh, of course, the app can receive updates as well through the app store. And then you got the app version. So super cool what you can do with that. Now let's talk about that sleep report that I was just mentioning. So if I click on notifications here in the bottom right, this will pull up all of the different notifications that I've received recently. Oh, so you can see the uh, humidity was a little high and it you know, sent me an alert. Also later it told me that it was fine. You know, it dropped a little bit once the AC kicked on and everything. Um, so that's that. But then you got this sleep report. So it can report daily to you. Uh, how your air was. So remember how I said it's on do not disturb. So it's not going to beep and stuff overnight. But with this, you can take a look back at, you know, the time of night it was, and you can see how your air quality was. So it kind of breaks it down here uh, with this little report, which is super cool. All right, now let's click on tips. So you guys can see right now, fresh air uh, helps keep allergies away. Nice work. So this will give you tips, you know, if there was something, you know, very wrong with your air quality right now. Right now mine's good. So, so this one here looks pretty useful. Get an English ivy or a snake plant in your bedroom. It will help remove toxic chemical such as well as reduce CO2 concentration. Uh, so it's got a few things here uh, that you guys can read through. Interesting to see nonetheless. And then probably the most important one or the one I use a lot is this trend tab. Now I can put this into landscape mode and it will kind of show more data, but if I do that, my screen recording will crash. So that's just how QuickTime screen recorders work. Uh, but for this one right here, I'm just gonna show you this in landscape mode because to be honest, this is probably how you're gonna use it. But you can swipe across the uh, graph here to go to different days. So as you can see at the bottom, I'm on Friday, October 5th. I can go to yesterday, I can go to today. Uh, and you guys can kind of see when I was moving this thing around. Uh, I was putting it uh, from the living room up into my bedroom and you can see the uh, score went up dramatically after I did that. That's the aware score. As you can see in the top left, it says aware score. Now, if I click on the next one, I've got temperature. So this is pretty cool. I of course can scroll through the different days and see, whoops, see how I was doing. Let me go back here. So, you know, October 4th and pretty much every day looks about the same, which is good, uh, but it's nice to be able to go through and see what's going on. So you can see at night when the AC is on and then in the day when it's turned off, uh, the temperature goes up and you can see right here, I brought it to my room, which is on the second story, which is even higher up. So it gets even warmer up there uh, during the day. And then at nighttime, you can see it's trickling off as the AC is on. Next up, we got humidity, same deal here. You guys can scroll through and see how you're doing. Um, and then we've got CO2. Be, be advised, this is CO2, carbon dioxide, not carbon monoxide. Anyways, uh, you guys can see this is where it spiked here uh, about midday and then uh, it's been going down and then it's coming back up now. But that's that. And then we got chemicals. These are VOCs, volatile organic compounds uh, that I can trace in the air. So for example, every morning, if I spray Old Spice body spray, this thing will spike for quite a few hours. And it's kind of interesting to see it uh, slowly taper down, like how long those vapors stay in the air. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, you can see those. And then lastly, we've got fine dust particles. This is something that most other air quality sensors can't do unless it's equipped with a laser like this one. So it can sense these in the air. Uh, and it's very interesting to see these things. Um, and of course you can scroll through and see the different days. Uh, I notice these spike a lot, you know, if we're frying chicken or something at the house, uh, the air quality will drop down dramatically. Uh, and you know, you really never think of this, these things when you're cooking and stuff, but uh, it's cool to see your air quality uh, with this app uh, and this device, super cool. Then of course down here, uh, we've got Aware Plus. So we got Amazon Alexa, IFTTT and Google. There are a few things that are coming down in the pipeline for this application and for the Aware device that I'm not allowed to speak about right now, but I can tell you right now they are really cool. There are some really cool additions coming to this. So stay tuned for that. And if you're looking to pick one of these bad boys up, they are about 200 bucks uh, right now. So I'll have it linked down below in the description if you wanna check that out. Big thanks to Aware for sending this out free for review. Uh, this is a very, very nice and robust air quality monitor uh, that you can put in pretty much any room as long as you have an outlet handy uh, and it gives you very valuable information in my opinion. So check it out guys. Again, links down below in the description. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. I've got some B-roll that I'll be rolling throughout the video. Uh, if I don't have enough time to put it in, I'll put it in right now. Uh, and you guys can watch that and kind of see what this thing looks like in practice. Uh, this thing looks really good pretty much no matter where you place it. Uh, it just looks like another piece of your furniture. Um, and it looks kind of futuristic too. So definitely not a nuisance to have. One thing I do want to mention is that it does have a little fan in it to keep the air circulating, you know, to take in more air and get rid of the other air that it's already sampled. So just be advised there is a slightly low hum. Uh, it's very, very soft, uh, but I can't have this next to my bed and sleep. Um, it has to be kind of away 
uh, on the opposite end of my room. But that's just me. So maybe you guys don't really care, but just wanted to mention that it does have that built into it. Overall, this device is awesome. Check it out. Links down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.